Hi guys, Lady Yoga here, and this is Yoga Quickies, the show where you tell us what you want out of your yoga or fitness routine, and we deliver it to you in five minutes or less. This one goes out to me, and anyone who has any broken bits, big toes, any other parts of their body where they might need crutches. Nope, it's not a prop. I've lasted four decades without ever having broken anything, and I broke my big toe several weeks ago, falling out of a chin stand. And no, it wasn't a crazy fall where it was a big smash, boom, black and blue right away, emergency room. That came later. It was really a gentle fall, just an awkward way that my toe went down when I was coming out of chin stand, not even really falling, okay? Um, and basically, it was a recurring injury. A couple years ago, I'd done the same thing, falling out of a handstand in just the wrong way. Everything was engaged, everything was in proper form, just not done the right way. So, you know, I think the key here is understanding that if your body feels funky or if you've done something weird to it, definitely get it checked out. Don't wait a couple of years. I think there was a part of me that just felt not necessarily invincible, but that I can recover and bounce back right away. Well, if you keep doing the same thing and expecting different results, it ain't gonna work. So this time when I fell out in a chin stand, and you can Google it or see one of the episodes that I did with Kate Duncariati from Light on Lotus in Mar Vista, California, she taught me the proper way of doing it and I've been practicing it ever since and feeling really good, just went down the wrong way. So I think the key is have someone else teach me yoga. I'm great at teaching you yoga, just maybe not me. Not really. Anyway, I think having an injury is a great thing. At least I'm looking at it like that now because I've had some time to be a little bit more sympathetic, compassionate with myself and empathize with those who have had to go through injuries when I see them in the classroom and not be able to do certain things. They have limitations. And it's a hard thing to watch. It's a hard thing to go through, not just physically, but also mentally. If you're not able to do the things that you love and enjoy, the outlet that you have in your life for when the shit hits the fan, then it can be really difficult. So it's finding your yoga and your outlets in other things. I've been pretty crafty around the apartment and I've spent a lot more time meditating and lying on blocks. So I'm going to do a five minute routine for anyone who has some broken bits or a broken big toe and are injured. And those of you who aren't injured can still do this video with me. You don't need crutches. Although I am milking the sympathy boat here, walking around with my dog and my crutches. I get a lot of, oh. So I'm gonna put five minutes on the clock. If you got crutches, good for you. If you don't, even better for you. And what we'll do is if you've got two fold out chairs or dining room chairs, where your arms can be long on the straight back with the seat going out this way, then you can do these exercises too. You'll take your crutches, the chairs will be slightly forward. So the chair legs will be the one closest to your toes will be here and then closer to you. So that would be two legs here, two legs here, yeah, and then the flat seat that way. You can, Im you can imagine it, right? And then the outsides of the chair, your crutches, you'll take your crutches, slightly slope them forward, so they'll be about in line with your broken big toe, or slightly forward, and then just lean your upper back against the wall, softening the knees almost into like a cocktail chair table. And so hold on to those crutches, and press down. Press down, but without bringing the shoulders up. Press down so you can feel your triceps work. Roll the shoulders back, lift high with the chest while not letting those ribs, those low ribs float out. So you're proud with your chest, back with your shoulders. Press down to engage the triceps, even the biceps here. And you can start by just lifting one knee at a time. And I'm already starting to feel the burn in the core. And then if it feel comfortable pressing down, shoulders roll back, you can do a few sets where you bring both knees in towards the chest. Holy cannoli, that's hard. And then if you want, taking the crutches a little bit more forward so you got some more space, you can lengthen both legs up and down. And you can do as many sets as feels comfortable. So you start spitzing and feeling the core work start to happen. And the same thing if you're doing chair, right? Both of the hands on the back of the chair Right, you'll lean slightly forward with your crutches and you can do butt kicks here, one at a time. That's engaging the core 
The hip flexors, definitely challenging my balance, but the butt kicks are good. Ooh. And maybe double butt kicks. Now, the same with any yoga pose where you're doing a balance. Keep a drishti, a gaze point forward of you so that you can keep your steadiness. Wow, that's really hard, but it's really good. And then you can try, right, taking a soft bend in both of the knees, reaching out with the arms, right? And you're gonna feel this in the triceps, <laughs> it looks like chicken wings, but you're gonna hold on, hold on to the outsides of the little rungs here, the handlebars, and press in towards the armpits, <laughs> cleansing through your lymphatic system. But check out the biceps, those inner arms, those are engaging while I'm engaging my core and coming into a tiny little bit of a seat. So check that out. It's pretty cool. And then we're just going to bring it down to the floor now. So if you have the space, so I'm injured a couple of weeks now, but I can walk with a boot without crutch. And you can simply come onto all fours and extend back with one leg, the opposite arm, knee in towards the elbows other side that's great and i've been a huge fan of the push-ups you can do them with the knees to the floor or the knees lifting i'm not going to do the knees lifting because then the toes will be curled under that's going to hurt so you can take wide-legged push-ups You can even shift from side to side, working a little bit more in the chest muscles and the upper back muscles. You can do regular chaturanga push-ups with the elbows pressing back. And you can even do the reverse kind, where your reverse tabletop, hips lift, palms turn out a bit, lift up through the hips, bend back with the elbows. Roll the heads of the shoulders back. Core work is always good here, whether you're on your crutches or on the floor with your seat. As long as it's not an issue with the knee, you can do rocking the boat. And then of course, all doctors recommend to rest, ice, compression around the toe. I've got Zen toes and elevation. And even just a few minutes a day on your crutches, on the floor, even if you're in your bed doing this with the legs up, your core work, your opposite arm, opposite uh, leg, this all is great. And I've done it with crutches and it really is awesome. I thought, how can I make a workout with crutches? Hopefully there's never gonna be another day where I'm on crutches, but if I'm using them and I'm noticing, thanks timer, that it's, um, freaking hard work to use crutches will make the most out of it so that's my yoga quickies on broken bits and pieces i'm lady yoga let us know what you want to know out of your yoga and fitness routine by subscribing below tweeting us facebooking us or instagramming us right here thanks guys for checking in and for yoga quickies i'm lady yoga namaste